Yo, what is up, Bull fam? What is going on? What is up, you guys? RWA, your boy, Jordan Trask. Back for another video here, but it's Jordan here. Um, to my Charger fans, as always, to my fellow Charger fans, Bulls Nation, Charger Nation, Bull fam, um, Bull Pride, believe in the name of the Charger football team in the NFL as we all began for week 13. Before I get into this, um, fire Brandon Staley and fire Tom Telesco because both guys suck. This is all about the Super Bowl or bust. This is Super Bowl or none for the Chargers in the next few years immediately, but um, it's about the time. But This week is Patriots week to all, every Patriot fans I know. Um, so this week to Charger fans. Guess what week it is? It's Patriots week. But this is not a hate week. This is a, a calm week of Chargers Patriots. But immediately, but yeah, this is Patriots week. Not a hate week, but yeah, it's Patriots week. For a preview of week 13 between the Los Angeles Chargers and the New England Patriots. But since Philip Rivers and Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Matt Castle debate was on the line... Doug Flutie might love to call it the Rodney Harrison Bowl and the Doug Flutie Bowl, Junior Sale Bowl, the Chargers Patriots game uh, immediately. But we send, before we play the Patriots again, we just traded away JC Jackson, but we couldn't bring back Hunter Henry as our tight end. But, but yeah, you know, we send JC Jackson back to New England where he belongs because a saying Bassey's back with us says he. Was a two-teamer of the Apes West with the Chargers and the Broncos. Um, so for Justin Herbert, this will be the Chargers' first win against the Patriots in over 15 years since October 12, 2008, when Phillip Rivers took down the Pats finally, but immediately. But yeah, and finally, in about over 18 years since October 2, 2005, Chargers had a first win at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. When, when Drew Brees beat Tom Brady. And in 2008, when, when Phillip Rivers beat the back of quarterback without Tom Brady, who got injured during the 2008 season, was a Matt Castle. And then 2002 was a phenomenal 41-17, 30-10, 21-14 Chargers, three wins in the 2000s decades against the Pats. And except three playoff losses... But back to 1963, when we won our a, a phenomenal first American Football League championship game in January 5th to, um, to honor of 1964 from 63 in the old decades of the year in a row, a long time ago. But you know what? The Chargers got the first American Football League championship a long time ago in 1963 on January 5th, 1964. Says we beat them 51 to 10 at Balboa Stadium in San Diego when Lance Alworth, Top and Row, John Hadle, Arrow with Sid Gilman, Al Davis were there. And then, yeah. And for that, you know, Ron Mix and then the rest. And then Keith Lincoln. Keith Lincoln was the MVP. Of the AFL years with the Chargers in 63. But Lance Elworth was the GOAT. As the Bambi era. And you know what? Here it is. Chargers did have three. Three straight playoff losses against the Patriots. When Phillip Rivers took on Tom Brady. This is when Antonio Gates and LT were there. But you know what? Nate Canning missed the field goal. And to the New England Patriot fans I know. The Boston Sports Network um, gave the Pats fan. He he might know me for the last three decades ago. I'm Billy Bob, Luke Otto, um, uh, P Pierre Shimon. Yeah, both guys are Patriot fans immediately. But all the Pats fans I always know is Boston Sports Network. Besides Gabe the Pats fan. And yeah, I get with Luke Otto and Pierre Shimon who are Patriot fans 
when they used to like Tom Brady. And Rob Gronkowski was a Patriot too, like Antonio Gates. And yeah, this is back to three straight playoff losses, 2018, 2007, 2006, when we lost three straight playoff games to New England Patriots immediately. But yeah, um, not what I want to say. But um, it goes all alone. But we had three straight season wins over um, New England since 2005 and 2008 season and 2002 season with Drew Brees and Phillip Rivers against Tom Brady and Matt Castle. And you know what? We went against Rob Gronkowski and Randy Moss. Since we had um, Chris Chambers and Vincent Jackson. And to you Patriot fans, remember when you had Aaron Hernandez the other day, this is not called the death of Valley Ball between mentionable honors of Vincent Jackson and Aaron Hernandez in the era of the Chargers-Patriots debate since then. And I, and I can't remember that for, for real. This is all it got for the Chargers-Patriots game in old decades ago with Philip Rivers, Tom Brady, Doug Flutie. And yeah, Drew Bledsoe, you know. But Teddy Bruschi and Jerry Sal, Ronnie Harrison, and yeah, maybe the rest can go with it. And Ladinian Tomlinson and Lawrence O'Neill, Matt Matt Light, Marcus McNeil, Nick Hardwick, and um, Lo Logan Mankins, who's one of the good O lines for the Patriots with. Chargers immediately with Reg Arhenberger and then Jaleel Adai. The, the Patriots remember when they had a former Jet player named Darrell Rivas, a.k.a. Rivas Island. Y'all had him the last time. And y'all had Julian Edelman. We had Ke we have Keenan Allen, but y'all did have Julian Edelman at the end of the day. And y'all beat us 45 nothing with Cam Newton immediately. And then without Cam Newton, y'all had Mac Jones. Because um, Bill Belichick and North Turner, Marty Schottheimer, and then Mike McCoy, Anthony Lynn, and, and also the worst coach, Brandon Staley. Who's the worst? Robert Kraft and then Dean Spanos, who you know. The Spanos and the Kraft. The Crafts. So, this is all we do is win or lose. Because fire Brandon Staley and fire Tom Pulesco. I want both guys fucking gone. This is all about the Chargers Super Bowl or bust or nothing. This is all about Super Bowl or nothing for the Los Angeles Chargers team in the NFL and the National Football League. And also, Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler, Keenan Allen, Jalen Guyton, Quentin Johnson's being the worst receiver in the NFL. But Jalen Guyton's been good. Keenan Allen has done his best. Jarrell Everett's back. And you know what? Donald Parham's back too. With no Trey McKinney because he's a other worst tight end, the backup tight end ever in the NFL. And immediately, Cameron Decker and then J.K. Scott, Joey Bosa's not playing. You know what? Tilly Toopaludu and then Khalil Mack, Austin, Austin Johnson and Sebastian Joseph Day, Eric Kendricks, Kenneth Murray, and, and who else? Who else? Uh, Derwin James. Yeah, Michael Davis is already benched because he can't play anymore. Dean Leonard and who else? Asani Samuel Jr. And you know, Jesse R. Taylor. That's who we all have. And yeah, Morgan Fox immediately. Yeah. Um to the Patriots, with no Kendrick Bourne, y'all have Douglas is another receiver with Juju Smith Schuster and uh Devontae Parker. Cause yeah, we we all have with no Mike Williams and Josh Palmer, no Joey Bosa. You all have Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence Guy. And then we brought you back, J.C. Jackson, while you have a former Charger tight end, Harry Henry, on your team with Mac Jones. And you have a former Cowboy, Zeke Elliott, because we have a former Cowboy offensive coordinator as the current offensive coordinator for the Chargers, uh, to Kellen Moore. Um, yeah. Because it goes on and all about it. With Derek Ansley. But... Against Bill O'Brien, the worst offense coordinator of the New England Patriots, with Steve Belichick. Yeah, you have a defensive coordinator named Steve Belichick, who has a son of Bill Belichick. And you know what? For the most reasons about it. 
it goes all the way back to the years in passionary years. So, anyway, um, without Corey Lindsley, Will Clapp, uh, Rashawn Slater, Zion Johnson, uh, Joy McFadden, Jeremy Sawyer, and then Trey Pipkins III. Y'all know it. Sander Horvath is back from Pittsburgh from the practice squad as a fallback return. Um, Sang Bassey is back with us since we trade away uh, J.C. Jackson. And you know what? <clears throat> Before I get going, um, here's some Boston sports team I do like and I do hate them. Here it is. Uh, let's go with the Boston Celtics, the 17-time NBA champion. I'm a Clippers fan because we have no championships. I, I like the Celtics. That's a dub because of the former Clipper, Blake Griffin, as Blake Griffin to the Clips. To the Celtics. But from a Clipper to a Celtic to Blake Griffin era. In all the decades of the year to any a basketball player I may know. But we'll, we'll, we'll save the basketball talk for later while we keep talking football immediately. But yeah. The Celtics are my most likable basketball teams as a LA Clipper fan. Because of Blake Griffin era with Paul Pierce and Glenn Davis. They were all there. But yeah. I like the Celtics too because I'm a Clipper fan. That's a that's a duh. Um, uh, Boston Celtic. Um, yeah, I I'm fine with the Boston Celtics as a likable basketball team in the NBA. But I already told you we'll save the basketball talk for later while I keep talking football. Football talks fine with immediately to the basketball. But as a Clipper fan, and I like the Celtics too. Like I told you, that's a duh. Um, let's go next. Uh, Boston Red Sox. Um, I'm an Angels fan and a Padres fan. I hate the Red Sox. That is another duh. And, um, Boston Bruins. I'm an Anaheim Ducks fan. I, I can't stand the Bruins. The choke artist blowing the 3-1 series lead in the Stanley Cup playoff hockey to the Florida Panthers. Since they blew it in seven games. I hate the Bruins. That's, a, that's three duhs. Um, but I hate the Red Sox more because I hate them because... I hate the Red Sox. I can't stand them too. Um, New England Revolution. Um, I'm an LA Galaxy fan since we beat them three times in MLS Cup soccer history. But I can't stand the New England Revolution because I hate them. Um, I, I'm not a Revolution fan, but I'm an LA Galaxy fan immediately. When my Angels and Anaheim Ducks has a World Series ring, a Stanley Cup ring with number one on it. To the Red Sox and Bruins, you all have six and nine. Just like your rival, New York Yankees, Montreal Canadiens, who has 27, 24 rings. Immediately. To the Boston Celtics, and who has shared 17 rings with the Lakers, you, you all shared together. Um, to, to the New England Revolution, who, who doesn't have an MLS Cup, we have five than you. Um, since then, forever. Um, here it is. I might get this last, but immediately I could just say it forever. But anyway, guys, but I have one last thought before we head out. Um, let's see what this Chargers team can do against the Patriots and get the first win for the first time in over decades ago since we beat. We can say we can finally beat the Patriots. So anyway, guys, I'm going to head out. Your boy, George Trask. Peace out. And as always, go Chargers and bolt up. Let's see how it goes on week 13.